Welcome to Cross Point Fellowship Church. Today is Good Friday. Amen. I would like to start quickly by reading um, the main verse of today in Leviticus chapter 12, verse 1 to 14. Amen. Some time later, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, This month is to be the first month of the year for you. Tell the people of Israel that on the tenth day of this month, the head of each family must choose a lamb or a young goat for his family to eat. If any family is too small to eat the whole animal, they must share it with their next door neighbors. Choose either a sheep or a goat, but it must be one year old male that has nothing wrong with it. Absolutely nothing wrong. Amen. Amen. And it must be large enough for everyone to have some of the meat. Brothers and sisters, meat is good. <laughs> Amen. Each family must take care of its animal until the evening of the 14th day of the month when the animals are to be killed. Some of the blood must be put on the, door, on the two door uh, posts and above the door of each house where the animals are to be eaten. That night, the animals are to be roasted and eaten together with bitter herbs and thin bread made without yeast. Don't eat the meat raw or boiled. The entire animal, including its head, legs, and inside must be roasted. Eat what you want that night, and the next morning, burn whatever is left. When you eat the meal, be dressed and ready to travel. Have your sandals on. Carry your walking stick in your hand and eat quickly. This is the Passover festival in honor of me, your Lord. That same night, I will pass through Egypt and kill the firstborn son in every family and the firstborn male of all animals. I am the Lord and I will punish the gods of Egypt. The blood on the houses will show me where you live. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Hallelujah. Amen. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Amen. Then you won't be bothered by the terrible disasters I will bring on Egypt. Remember this day and celebrate it each year as a festival in my honor. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Today is Good Friday. Amen. Amen. This is the day Jesus was crucified at the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know why we call it Good Friday. I don't know what that good means when you know that our Lord was killed, crucified, not, not bullet. Crucified. Amen. With agony and everything you can imagine. But we call it Good Friday. There must be a reason for that. Amen. Amen. So this day is very important for Christians. Actually, this is the most important day for Christians. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. The world does not talk much about today. No advertisements, nothing. They will talk about Christmas, even though Jesus was not even born that day. Amen? They will make you buy stuff for everyone, which is not a bad thing. Hallelujah. But today is the, the most crucial day for us. Today is the day that if Jesus was did not die. We wouldn't talk about Christians today. Hallelujah. 
And three days after today, which means on Sunday, that's the day Jesus resurrected. Because death could not hold him down. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We wouldn't be talking about Christians if Jesus did not sacrifice himself, did not accept to go that path for you and for me. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of that, I am called son of God. Amen. Am I the only one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I hope I'm, I'm not the only one. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> because of that day, today I can say victory, his victory is my victory. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I need to connect with you. Yes. His victory is my victory. Yes. His inheritance is my inheritance. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We were singing here. The sin's curse has no grip on me anymore. Hallelujah. And I have life and life eternally. Yes. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Today we'll talk about blood. A lot. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. Some, I don't like to see blood. I really don't like blood. But this blood is different. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> this blood is very different. Hallelujah. Amen. When you read the entire Bible, as far as the spiritual system of God is concerned, there must be blood for the remission of sins. Amen? Amen. You, we read in Leviticus the whole thing, the instructions from, from God and how to kill animals, how to sacrifice those animals, because if there is no bloodshed, there is no remission of sins. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 17, in the Good News translation, says, The life of every living thing is in the blood. And that is why the Lord has commanded that all blood be poured out to the altar, to take away the people's sin. Blood, which is life, takes away sins. Hallelujah. I'm going to repeat that. Blood, which is life, life is in the blood, takes away sins. Hallelujah. It's only the blood that can take away sin. It's only the blood, the blood that can make atonement for the sins. Only the blood. Hallelujah. It, it is only the blood that can delete the death that carries your sins. Only the blood. Hallelujah. Amen. Only the blood that can release forgiveness. Amen. Amen. So you will hear today called Calvary, Good Friday, Passover. All of this existed only for one, one thing. The remission of our sins. Amen. So an atonement is a remission of sins, and it is made through sacrifice. But not sacrifice of everything. You have the Old Testament that will talk about the sacrifice of a lamb. Hallelujah. Amen. And before what we read, every single family had to sacrifice one animal. And then later on, you will read that one lamb with, without blemish was sacrificed for the entire nation. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the blood of an animal had power at that time. But let me tell you, the blood of an animal had a limited power. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You, you read the same thing I read. It was only used to cover the sins for only one year. Amen. Amen. Each year, every single year, at the same period, they had to kill an animal. Because the power of the animal, the blood of the animal, is limited in time. It was only one year. So this was a temporary solution. And it's a solution only for the chosen uh, people of God. It was not for everyone. Hallelujah. Amen. So God needed a permanent solution. But remember what the Bible says. Everything in the Old Testament is a shadow. 
of things to come. So this temporary blood that we're talking about was a shadow of a permanent solution to come. Amen. Amen. The Hebrew chapter 10 verse 1 to 2 says in the New Living Translation, the old system under the law of Moses was only a shadow, a dim preview of the good things to come, not the good things themselves. Are you following me? The sacrifices under that system were repeated again and again, year after year. But they were never able to provide a perfect cleansing for those who came to worship. Hallelujah. If they could have provided perfect cleansing, the sacrifices would have stopped. For the worshippers would have been purified once for all. And their feelings of guilt will have disappeared. Amen. <clears throat> the book of John, chapter 1, verse 29, NIV says, If they could have provided perfect cleansing, the sacrifices would have stopped. Amen. Amen. For the worshippers would have been purified once for all, and their guilt removed. Amen. Now, for all those who are still sacrificing animals, you read the news, you see what happens left and right. And you see that, you know that at some places, not only they sacrifice animals, but they do sacrifice people too. Hallelujah. All of that, for what? The remission of their own sins. They think that if they continue to kill an animal, their sins will be taken away. Hallelujah. So to all my friend and your friend, Jewish, Muslim, Buddhist, and whatever you have, I'm saying tonight, wake up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wake up. Because the sacrifice of an animal is temporary. Amen. Actually, it was temporary until we find a permanent solution. But yet today, some people stick on that every single year. Like today, they are killing these animals. Amen. Amen. Just because they believe that that will remove their sins. But they know it's temporary. It's a, temp it's a quick fix. It, it's a one-year fix. Hallelujah. Amen. People were temporarily purified, but guilt was not dis removed. So guilt did not disappear. Sins were covered Temporarily. But I, I'm not sure if you understand me. Sins were just covered, just for one year. <clears throat> when it gets to the second year, if you don't have an animal to be killed, or if the high priest, something happened, and the offering is not accepted, man, your sins are not forgiven. Do you understand? Even the high priest, when he was going in there, to do all the ceremonies, he has to be clean inside and out. They used to attach a rope because no one was allowed to go in the Holy of Holies. So if the guy does not come out, no one will go get him there. So whoever goes in there, by mistake, does not come back. Do you understand? So after a certain time, if the guy is not back, they... <laughs> They pulled the rope to pull the guy out because the guy was not clean enough. Hallelujah. So this was something that was very, very serious. And then you understand that this was a temporary solution just for a group of people. I'm here tonight to say that the blood of Jesus is the permanent solution. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the blood of Jesus is the final solution. It's a solution that is effective. And it is a solution that is inclusive. Amen. Because of the sacrifice at the cross of Calvary, you and me, our sins are for forgiven permanently, forever. I'm talking about past sins. I'm talking about current sins. And I'm talking about future sins. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Amen. 
Jesus is the true Passover. Yes. Jesus is the real Passover. Yes. At the same time that Jesus was crucified, the people who rejected him were killing animals. They're continuing that thing because they did not understand the meaning of Jesus. Hallelujah. At the same time, amen, because the blood of Jesus is pure, amen, amen. is sinless, amen. amen, am I communicating? Yes. But you have to understand this. There is no human being who met another human being to conceive Jesus. Am I communicating? Yes. There is no human being who met another human being to conceive Jesus. So this blood that was manufactured in heaven, yes. hallelujah, yes. was pure, yes. was the purest blood ever. Yes. Because it was sinless. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. The book of Hebrew, chapter 10, verse 4 says, It is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So whatever these people were doing, and whatever some are still doing today, it covers or it covered their sins, just covered. And after one year, it's back on again. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, that's so painful. So, brothers and sisters who did not believe in Jesus, my word today, stop slaughtering innocent lambs. It does not take away your sins. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 4. Hallelujah. <clears throat> they cannot remove your sins. Only the blood of Jesus has the power to do that. Hallelujah. That blood of animals, it's important you understand that he had an expiry date. As we understand very well what an expiry debt is. There is not something you can buy today that does not have an expiry date. Bread has an expiry date. Butter has an expiry date. Milk has an expiry date. Everything has an expiry date. When you want to use it, you check how the expiration date. Amen. It, this uh, mosquito repellent, yes. amen? amen, has also an expiry date. I put it on everywhere to kill mosquitoes. It's just for a certain period of time. I'm, I have been always afraid of mosquitoes, even when I was back in Africa, really, really. And then where I was living, um, I, I moved from a place where it was really I, I, I wouldn't say cold, but fresh, to a place where it was really hot. So it was full of mosquitoes. I was not used to that. So I used a, a repellent all the time. And then I had a product that I put on me that will keep the mosquitoes away for maybe eight hours. I will put the AC on at home, AC in the car, AC in the office, just because I'm really afraid of mosquitoes. Amen. Amen. As a result, I, I never got this malaria or whatever, ever. You understand? Yes. But thank God I'm here and there is no mosquitoes because I don't know how I could have done because I'm really afraid of that. Amen. But after eight hours, because when you put it on, mosquitoes are smart. Yes. They come around, they smell what you smell, so they stay away. They're just checking, and they come closer, and closer, and closer. When it is the expiration time, they bite you. <laughs> because they are really, really smart. So everything will expire. Hallelujah. But the grace of God that redeemed us does not have, does not expire. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Once you have said yes to Jesus, your sins are gone. It's for forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. By the blood of a God, by the blood of whatever, 
will expire after a certain time. Yes. Check that date before using. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's come back to what we just read today. We just read that the angel of death came to visit in Egypt where the, the, the children of Israel were living in captivity. Amen. Amen. And then they were instructed to do a, a Passover. Amen? Amen. And put the, the, the blood on the, the, the door, the doorpost. So that when the, the spirit of death comes, he will just go to the next house. He will check where the blood is. Hallelujah. Amen. So the life of the people who had put blood on the door was spared. Are you following me? The life were spared because they were covered. Amen. Amen. They were covered. When death came, death did not knock at the door and ask some questions. Hallelujah. Amen. This reminds me the story of one of my friends who lives in Rwanda, in Kigali. During the genocide time, the people who were killing others were coming from one door to another door to ask where the enemies were. The enemies were people from the different tribe. But people look alike. Some people you can tell, some people you, don't, you, you cannot tell. Hallelujah. Like me, I don't, I, I don't know. It, it, uh, unless you're white, I will say you're white. But if you're black for me, Tusi or Hutu, I don't know the difference. <laughs> Amen? And I honestly don't, don't care. <laughs> so my friend was Tutsi, and then they were killing them. So they came to his house, and he was a pastor. Amen? We studied together, and then he moved to Rwanda at some point. And then genocide found him there. And then he was on the list to be killed. So they came to his door, they knocked. He knew they were coming for him. Amen? Amen. He asked his wife and kids, but you stay back, you know, by we'll see in heaven, it's done. So he opened the door. People were outside with machetes and, uh, and whatever. They said, oh, is it the house of the, the pastor? They told us there is a pastor that lives in the neighborhood. He said, oh, they took him a long time ago. <laughs> and then they said, is that right? They said, yeah. Oh, OK, thank you. <laughs> and then he closed his door. <laughs> this guy never moved from that city. Hallelujah. Amen. He stayed there the entire time they were killing people. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. But the death, the spirit of death I'm talking about here, did not knock at any door. Yes. Did not check who was in the house or not. Hallelujah. Did not ask any question. I'm talking about the spirit of death that did not look at the people. You told or you not. They did not measure. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That spirit did not see if you were black or you were, you were white. Or oh, Tutsi. Or oh, oh, Hutu. Hallelujah. Or oh, oh, rich or oh, poor. No, 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 no. It was not like that. So there was no check if you are a good person in good standing of the authorities, respecting of the laws. No, 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 no. The only thing that covered people was the blood at the door. Hallelujah. Are you following me? Yes. What will cover you is not the fruit of your works. That's right. yeah. The fruit of your labor. Yeah. How good you are. And in Africa, all the Christians, there are big Bibles. How would you know they are Christians? So they have a Bible. Hallelujah. <laughs> when you see a person with a Bible, you know he is he's saved. Amen? Amen? The spirit of death did not look at that. Yes. Amen? It looked at the blood. Brothers and sisters, the blood is important. It's the only thing important. What you do is not important. Amen. Hallelujah. The spirit passed over 
just because of the blood, but now the works of people. Hallelujah. Amen. It's good everything we do, but the, the spirit of, God, of, of death did not check if I'm a Sunday school teacher, I'm a youth pastor. Actually, I attended um, the Tuesday prayer meeting upstairs. No, 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 no. The spirit of death did not check on people to ask, how many times do you pray a day? Hmm? Do you pay your tithe every single month? Or do you skip sometimes? No, 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 no. That did not count. Are you an intercession member or not? That will not save you. Yes. Attending intercession prayer will not save you. But the blood of Jesus, Amen. the blood of Jesus alone Amen. is the only one that can save you. Yes, Hallelujah. Only the blood. Only the blood. Brothers and sisters, on a daily basis, we are protected. Yes. You know, it's so shameful uh, when you counsel Christians and you see what they struggle with every single day. It's like, I am saved, I take it, I put it in a, in a box, and I lock it. Hallelujah. And then I go out and I suffer like everyone else. Yeah. Hallelujah. You complain, I complain, we complain, everyone complains. <laughs> Hallelujah. But on a daily basis, because of the blood of Jesus, we escape things because we are covered. Hallelujah. The Bible says, even in the valley of the shadow of death, I will be with you. Hallelujah. Any situation you, you face, remind Jesus, because of your blood, I am covered. So I am going to go through. Other people will not make it. Yeah. But even in the valley of the shadow of death, yeah. Yeah. you are with me. Yeah. So I will go and I will get to my destination. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It is not because you are a good person. You, are, you have good friends. All your friends love you. Maybe you don't sin at all. Who knows? I was talking about tithes. Hey, you do not miss even any. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not because on the road you are a good driver. You know, no, ra no road rage. You don't curse. You don't know any F word at all. Hallelujah. You do not show one of the fingers. Hmm? Hallelujah. That is not why you never had an accident. That is not why you go from point A to point B. That is now why you on your foot when your vehicle was into pieces you left your vehicle and you walked like nothing has happened. Yes. It is only because of the blood. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Yeah, it is not because you give or you don't give, you toll or you're not toll. It is only because of the blood. Yes. If there was blood on the doorpost, the death will skip that door because the blood covered. But guess what? In those houses, not everyone was a Jewish. Not everyone was, a, was from the people chosen by God. Amen? Servants were there. And all the people who worked there were there. If your neighbor came to sleep over, nothing would have happened to them. Absolutely nothing. Just because of the blood. If you are a nice person, you bring in your neighbors, they will be saved just because of the blood. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We should thank God for the blood. Yes. Thank God for your blood that covers us every day. We go to work, we're covered. We come back, we're covered. On dear fruit, we are covered. Yeah. Our kids at school everywhere, they are covered. Amen. It is not because your kids obey you, you know. You don't jump on the bus, you wait until the bus stops. Because, no, no, no. It's not because of what you have said. It is only, only, only because of the blood of Jesus. Because of that sacrifice. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 12, verse 14. 
NLT translation says, this is a day to remember. Each year, from generation to generation, you must celebrate it as a special festival to the Lord. This is a law for all time. This is the reason we are here today. Amen. Hallelujah. This week is special. Yes. Don't take me wrong. Everyone who participated to the killing of Jesus was used by God to do that. They were on a mission. They were doing a job. So many people sacrificed for you today to have eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. So God established that this day no one will forget it. I'm very serious when I say that. Don't think things were happening. Hmm? People were colluring to kill Jesus and Jesus did not know. <laughs> or Jesus does not have the power to make them change their mind or whatever. Everything was planned. Everything had to happen at a certain time as planned. Brothers and sisters, this is because Jesus loves you. God had to find a way for that love that excluded everyone, the Gentiles, right? To bring that love to everyone else. And he sacrificed himself. Jesus is God on earth as a human person. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the blood. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood. Today you are not the person you used to be. Thank you for the blood. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood. The blood protects us every single day. You have to recognize it. You have to take advantage of the person you are today. And you have to know why and how. Hallelujah. Last weekend, we went to the celebration of um, uh, uh, the genocide in, uh, in Rwanda. Uh, we have members of the congregation that are from Rwanda, and some of them, all the parents were killed. Uh, myself, my parents are from Rwanda as well, but they flee Rwanda uh, because of persecution a long time ago those who were able to, to, to flee the country. So I was born and raised in another country, but I do have my parents and everyone um, that are from Rwanda. So a, a big chunk of my family as well was killed during the genocide. So every single year there is this celebration so that people do not forget. Amen. So I went there too. So you, you know that uh, uh, Mr. Manzi here, you heard his testimony. He is from Rwanda. His entire family was killed, and by the grace of God, he was not. Yeah. He was a young boy. <laughs> Amen. He was a young boy, seven, nine years old. And then when they started killing his family, probably his mom or someone told him to run. You run, you do not know where you're going. He took off running. And then they were running after him. They were, bullets were flying because they wanted to kill him too. Hallelujah. It's like a provocation. We're coming to kill you and we're running. Amen. Amen. And then he, didn't, he does not know what happened. He fell into a hole. And then people were looking for him everywhere. They could not find him. He was knocked out in there. And then at some point he woke up. And then he was alive. And then all the people around him were, he, he could not see the people who wanted to kill him. Hallelujah. But look at him today. He is serving in the church with smile. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus changes transforms, gives you a heart of forgiveness, help you move forward. Hallelujah. We heard two Sundays ago the testimony of uh, Ernest. I think he's many, many church members 
are away because of a very long um, weekend. <laughs> so many of them send texts, so pastor, we're not here. I understand, and I pray for them, that God protects them where they are, covers them with the blood of Jesus, amen, so they be safe on the road and display the value of Jesus everywhere they go. Amen. Amen. So my brother, I call him the young lion, Ernest. He, you, you, you saw his book, they wrote a book. There were 15 brothers and sisters from the same mom and same dad. 15. And half of them, eight I think, were killed when they came in, in, a, in another country called Burundi. It's just the region, the region is crazy. So they killed eight of them, dad and mom included. He told us they were under the bed. So they never thought to kill, I mean, I think in their mind, this family, we already killed eight. That should be the max, but there were, there were seven hidden. Today they are all here, grown up, and doing well. <laughs> doing well. But they recognize that the blood of Jesus cover them. Give them a heart of forgiveness in order for them to move forward. They wrote a book. What is the title of the book? God kept me. God kept me. Hallelujah. God kept me. Wow. I'm not going to tell my story because it's similar, but I can say me too. God kept me. Amen. God kept me. Amen. Hallelujah. It is not by might. It is not by power. Amen. It is by the Spirit of God. Amen. You cannot wake up in the morning one day and decide to be a good person. Forgive everyone. Oh, you killed my uncle and my dad. I forgive you. Impossible. Yes. We have people here. No one killed nobody. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but children do not talk to, 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 to parents. They hate each other. When it's Christmas time, it's the worst time ever. If they have to come together, oh my goodness, it's just for the meal and they disappear. No exchange of gift. Hallelujah. The blood. The blood made a difference. And those are the small testimonies I can give you. Some of the people that I know, they curse their parents. They even curse God. But look at this family. Half was, was gone with brothers, with father and mother. And the youngest were not killed. They survived they went to different countries and then they found their way to Canada. Wow. And the title of their book, God Kept Me. Hallelujah. So many people will say, oh, God did not protect us enough. Where was God? And whatever. Brothers and sisters, everyone is a plan. And God is in control. You just have to know it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So for you and me here, had it not be for the blood of Jesus, you will have lost your mind. Had it not be for the blood of Jesus, my brother here, who will have lost his mind or develop a spirit of revenge and try to go back and, and, and revenge his, his dad, revenge his mom, revenge his brothers and sisters, uncle, niece, and aunt. His story is painful. Had it not be for the blood of Jesus, my family would have never made it to Canada. It is not but because you, uh, I was an engineer working for an oil company, so you think you're smart, or you have money, or whatever. No. It's just the blood of Jesus that covered us and opened the way to where we are today. Opened the way to eternal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear stories of people, we pray for people day and night. If it's not for the blood of Jesus, many people will be desperate. Every single day. Hallelujah. If it was not for the blood of Jesus, 
Some of us here will be divorced today. Hallelujah. Oh, give a clap offering. Some of us will be divorced. Yeah. I know you're clapping for your neighbor. Now for yourself. Some of us will have been lost. Or living with a heart full of bitterness. Hallelujah. Yes. Am I right? Yes. By the blood of Jesus makes the whole difference. We watch movies, we watch television, we read news. People get married and then divorce are like 24 hours. Oh, one week. Why did you get married in the first place? <laughs> Hallelujah. But because of the blood of Jesus and the fear that we have for God and all the principles we're following, people are together. Hallelujah. Amen. Things that were not possible yesterday, today they are possible. Black and white. Yellow and black. Yes. And even in Africa, tribes, Hutu and Tutsis, today they are mingling, marrying, loving each other. Amen. But what happened yesterday? Ah, the blood of Jesus was not there. Today, the blood of Jesus is there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I preached in Rwanda, in Apostle Masasu's um, church, two, two churches, a huge cathedrals, like in order them think. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Huge. <coughs> full of people. Full of young people. The worship is Awesome. Amen. People jumping, you, you don't understand. It's all for youth, for young people. This person lost that mom, uncle, niece. Well, I'm, I'm jumping, hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, there is a revival over there. Wow. But the blood of Jesus is working to reconcile people. Amen. Evangelists were there. You should see pictures with thousands and thousands of people listening to him. Why that never worked before? Today, the blood of Jesus is putting people together and opening their ears. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. The blood. We live a time where people are running left and right, going from one counselor to another counselor, from one doctor to another doctor, from one church to another church. There is nothing wrong about you know, going see your doctor. No, no, I'm not saying that. Hallelujah. There is absolutely nothing wrong. But I urge you not to dwell on your past. Hallelujah. Don't act like Passover never happened. Don't live like Jesus never sacrificed himself for you to have life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take a firm and definite this decision to rely on God and only God. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is the one that his diagnosis, there is no error. And you will go from one doctor to another one, and then one will say you have cancer, the other one will say actually there is nothing, and the other one will say something different. But Jesus does not make that such error. Amen. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I'm saying rely on the healer, Amen. not the medication. Amen. 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 There is nothing wrong about medication. Yes, there is nothing wrong about counseling and counselors and painkillers and all these kind of things. But they are like the blood of an animal. They will just make you feel good. Amen. Amen. And it's temporary. Yeah. It's only when Jesus steps in that it becomes now permanent. You know? Permanent. When you hear my story, his story, and the story of others, you wonder, how can you be normal? How can you progress your life like nothing has happened? I've never seen a counselor. I'm pretty sure he's never seen a counselor too. He, he said he has never seen a counselor. He has the picture of his entire family killed right in front of his bed, but he sleeps every night like a baby. Hallelujah. Because he's relying on the other one who gives life. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. The blood of an animal is temporary. All the counselors, you run left and you run right, they take your money and then you go there, they take your money. It, it will make you feel good. It's like a mosquito repellent. It's just for a certain time. And after that time, you run back again there. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You look clean, but you are not cleansed. You're still dirty inside. The blood of an animal will make you look clean. Hallelujah. But after one year, you dirty again. You look dirty again. You feel better just for a single period. But you're not healed. Hallelujah. True change does not come from professional counselors. Amen? True change, true healing does not come from painkillers. It will just cover the pain for a certain period of time. I'm not saying anything wrong about painkillers or medication. Hallelujah. So do not feel offended if you're a doctor or a pharmacist. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Praise God for Pastor Jerome, Pastor Tree. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm just saying that the only thing that brings true changes is the blood of Jesus. The only thing that brings true transformation is the blood of Jesus. Because the blood of Jesus has the power to change, to transform, to restore, to save, to give life, and to give life abundantly. Because of the blood of Jesus, you can say, I was lost, and now I'm found. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The devil, unfortunately, knows that too. And he has a plan to destroy you. Yes. Hallelujah. But I thank God for the blood of Jesus. Amen. I thank God for the blood of Jesus. Yes. He has power just to manipulate me. Hallelujah. But the blood of Jesus will cover me. Yes. Amen. Amen. Am I talking to myself? No. The, 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 the Bible says, whom Jesus set free is set is free. Indeed. Indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's what makes me go every day. Amen. Despite everything else. Amen. I know everything that happened. He knows everything that happened. But what makes us move forward every, every day is just the, the sacrifice. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I open this just to say that those who dwell too much on their past are acting like Jesus did not die for them. Or in their mind this sacrifice has to happen again. I'm here to tell you it happened only one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. One time. Hallelujah. Amen. But the sacrifice won't do any good to you if you do not receive it. Amen. This, if you are here and you do not know Jesus, you have never invited Jesus in your heart. Hallelujah. You are not connected to his blood. It's a waste of time. This does not apply to you. This applies only to those who have given their life to Jesus. Hallelujah. He won't do any good to you. Because the price was paid and it was paid one time, that's it. Hallelujah. The price has already been paid. So receive his mercy then. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Receive his mercy. Receive his forgiveness. Hallelujah. Amen. Receive his fruitfulness. Amen. Hallelujah. So do not feel guilty all your entire life because something has happened. You know, your parent gifted one child and did not gift enough the other child. And that becomes a problem that you are going to carry your entire life. Your husband left you. Your dad left the house and went with another wife. And then you carry that for years and years and years. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you, Jesus is not going to go to the cross again for you. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Those are lies of the enemy, and you have to refuse them. You say no. You're trying to manipulate me. You're lying to me. I say no. Hallelujah. Because the one who redeemed you did not have any sin. Was spotless. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, the blood of an animal is an ordinary blood. But not the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is not ordinary. Because he had the power to defeat the enemy. It's not a typical blood. It's a blood that put in disarray the enemy. Whatever is attacking you, you can, play, you can pray and plead, plead, the, the, plead the blood of Jesus on it. Because the, the blood of Jesus has the power over everything. Amen. 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 It heals. He opens the, blood, the, the eyes of the blind. Read carefully the Bible. He cures the lepers. Just the blood of Jesus. There is no, nothing you can say you are suffering from that the blood of Jesus cannot cover you for. The blood of Jesus can cover everything. So there is no mistake you have done. Maybe you were killing people. Maybe you had multiple women and now your life is kind of straight. Brothers and sisters, we're going to plead, plead the blood of Jesus on that too. If you feel there is a need for that, if you feel in your heart you're still guilty, I'm telling you that you have been forgiven Amen. and it is gone. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So stop living eternally uh, guilty. Amen. Amen. Because we suffer from there. We accept Jesus, but yet we're living like people who did not accept Jesus in their life. He lives in us. He is now going to the cross for the second time. Am I right? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Apostle spoke a few, few months ago that revival was coming. Amen. Amen. So, you have to be ready for the revival. Amen. Amen. So, people will be coming from all over the place. You have to equip yourself. You will have a neighbor who is coming from prison. You will have a, 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 a person who was a murderer, a child molester. If you are not ready, if yourself you are not healed, if yourself you do not understand the power of the blood of Jesus, how can you minister to another person? How can you help another person? Yes. Hallelujah. Because you cannot offer what you don't have. Those people, regardless of where they're coming from and regardless of what they have done, once they accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior, yes. all their sins are forgiven. Yes. Same as you. Amen. They become a new, new person. They become born again. And the old person is gone. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For God, the old person is gone. Hallelujah. Amen. But you have to remember that many people live in eternal condemnation. Many people will ask for forgiveness over and over again for the same sin. It becomes like a ritual. God forgive me because I divorced my wife. And then the, the, the next Sunday, when you pray for them, they have the same, the same request. So I prayed for this last, last week. <laughs> Hallelujah, I'm not kidding. And then and another pastor comes, the same thing comes on. Okay. Something is wrong here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, forgive me, Lord. I remarried. Yes, you remarried. So what? You divorced. So what? If God forgives you, we move on. Yes. Hallelujah. We move on. Yes. Jesus is not going to the cross because you, you were remarried. <laughs> Things happened. You asked for forgiveness. God forgives you. Who am I to condemn you? Yes. Who? I move on. Yeah. That's it. Jeremiah chapter 31, uh, 34 says, For I will forgive their iniquity, and their sin I will remember no more. 
If you have confessed your sin, it is gone. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So if God let it go, why don't you let it go? Why do you ask for the same prayer every single Sunday? <laughs> let it go. <laughs> let it go. Amen. Amen. In order for you to move forward. In order for you to be ready for the revival that we were hoping. Hallelujah. In order for you to be effective, you have to let go. Yes. The past is behind you. Yeah. You have been redeemed, Amen. cleansed by the blood of Jesus. You are a new person, regardless of the person you used to be. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. If you hear my story, you wouldn't believe it's me. But I'm telling you it's me. But that's my past. That's not me anymore. I am a new person. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Do not be like a person who is driving, but is looking into the rear view mirror. God is bringing you somewhere, but your eyes are fixed. Are the things that are happening behind you? Okay. You, you'll have an accident, okay? But spiritually speaking, you now, you're going to miss where God is bringing you because you focused on your past but not your present. Hallelujah. Stop remembering what God has forgiven. Amen. You may stand up so we finish. Amen. I am saying tonight, because of Jesus, you are forgiven. Amen. You are redeemed. You are restored, you are saved. Because of Jesus, you are a new person. Hallelujah. Amen. So close your eyes, so I pray for you. By faith, yes. I cover the entire congregation by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I cover your children, I cover your household, I cover your work, I cover all your assets by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Oh, sickness will come, but I proclaim that it will pass over. Yes. Because of the blood of Jesus. Cancer will come, but I proclaim, because of Jesus, it will pass over as well. You are covered, hallelujah. Oh, because of the blood on your post, they will pass over. When the angel of death will come, he will pass over too. Hallelujah. That's how you will escape this accident on the road. Because the, the death will pass over. Drugs and alcohol and other wrong habits that the enemy is sending to all your children will pass over in the name of Jesus. Yes. May the blood of Jesus restores you, redeems you, delivers you. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Prophesy to your body. Open your mouth and prophesy to your own life. Hallelujah. Send the Kerea Kasata. Prophesy, brothers and sisters. Prophesy to your own situation. Hallelujah. Brende Keria Koso. Oh, thank you for the blood of Jesus. Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, give a real praise to our Lord. Give a praise to our Lord. A real praise to our Lord. Today is a day of victory. Give a shout of victory. Start building up a song.
sit here. Show us your hand. And we will pray for you.